What's going on everybody, it's Boris here at your College of Design Studio. In this Excel tutorial, we're going to take a look at the sum if and count if functions and the what if goal sick analysis option. The Excel document I have open here is available on our website for free. Uh, you can use it to follow along or examine the formulas in further detail, just play around with it. Um, check out the description of this video uh, below for a list of the formulas used and for links to the document. Let's jump right in. Uh, here we have 1,899 observations uh, for online sales data. Uh, we have several sales employees, the date of each transaction, the item sold, uh, the number of units sold, the value of the transaction in dollars, and the region of the customer um, who purchased uh, the items. First, we'll want to sort out and group the data. I have sorted uh, the data by name of the employee um, or the salesperson, if you will, and grouped accordingly. Uh, this allows me to hide unnecessary fields by clicking on the corresponding level of detail. So if I were to click one, I will only see the grand total. Uh, two gives me the grand total and all the employees uh, for subtotals, and three gives me everything else, basically the details um, on each transaction. You can get these subtotals by going in the data tab on the ribbon and clicking on subtotals. So I'm here in the data tab. Uh, you can group each individual category and you can uh, do your subtotals by clicking on subtotals here once you have grouped everything by name. There is another way to achieve this uh, by using the sum if function. On the second tab of this Excel workbook, uh, on our second worksheet, I have two tables, both identical but obtained through different methods. The one on the left is obtained using sum if, and the formula is as follows. Sum if, sales data in single quotes, uh, exclamation mark B2 through B1900. Uh, A4, sales data in single quotes again, exclamation mark F2 through F1900. The sales data in single quotes is simply a worksheet designator telling the formula to retrieve the data in the given range from the first worksheet called sales data. Right then, we have our subtotals. Uh, the one on the right is obtained basically uh, through the grouping and the subtotals that I showed you on the previous worksheet. Uh, let's take a look at how we can obtain a count of frequency of the number of times each region occurs in our data set. Uh, this is easily done using the count if function. Let's go back to the first worksheet in cell G uh, or J6. Uh, and we have a list of the regions, namely East, West, South, and Midwest. The formula for J6 is as follows. Press Enter to begin a formula and type count if. And then parentheses. And we see the arguments are range and criteria. Our range is going to be G2 uh, through G1900. And we want this to be an absolute cell reference. Uh, for both G2 and G1900. So I'm going to uh, press F4 after clicking on each of them respectively. I'm going to press comma and then I'm going to enter in my criteria which is going to be cell I6. And we want this to be a relative cell reference because we want it to shift down uh, from east to west to south and then to midwest. Uh, okay, so I press enter and I have 456. That means that uh, East occurs 456 times um, out of 1900 in my data set, or uh, 1899 in my data set. I'm going to use the fill handle on the bottom right, and I'm going to click, um, press the left mouse button, and hold it, and then I'm going to drag all the way down to Midwest. And now I have my results for the count if function. Uh, as you can see, the cell uh, in column I has been shifted from I6 to I7 to I8, and to I9 respectively, so east all the way down to Midwest. And the results are 456, 490, 521, and 424. We now have a solid count, and you can see the results on this uh, worksheet, with several hundred occurrences uh, for each region. This would be a long and frustrating task if done manually. So in this instance, count if saves us time, effort, and money, and also prevents errors, uh, calculation errors from occurring. Let's move on to Goal Seek, another very useful tool. And now we're moving on on the last worksheet of this Excel document uh, called PMT Payments. 
What we have here is a mortgage payment calculator. Our second formula of interest is in cell E20. And it reads E18 plus E17 plus E15. Uh, that's basically our principal and interest, the monthly insurance amount, and the monthly taxes all added together. The formula of primary interest, however, uh, on this worksheet is in cell E18. Uh, and that's the payment and interest uh, formula. Here we see PMT for payment is dependent uh, upon E11 or the monthly rate, E13 or the number of periods, negative uh, E6 minus E8, uh, that's the property cost minus our down payment, and it's negative because it's an outlay. It's something we're paying out rather than receiving in. Uh, this is useful in and of itself because using this worksheet, uh, we can use easily determine what our expected monthly and annual mortgage payments will be. And we can calculate different payment options very fast, taking into account uh, varying interest rates, down payment options, uh, different number of periods, and so on. Feel free to use this worksheet in any way that you like for your projects or budgetary needs. Where what if analysis comes in handy can be understood by asking a question in a form of what if. What if I wanted to make a uh, $2,000 payment rather than $1,800, uh, $1,880 uh, that we had before us. Can I pay off my mortgage faster? Um, what if the maximum I can afford to pay is, hypothetically, $3,000 per month? How expensive of a home could I afford uh, in that scenario? We'll examine and calculate these scenarios using Goal Seek, a what if analysis option. Go to the data tab in the ribbon uh, on your right and select what if analysis right over here and then select goal seek there are three options available set cell to value and by changing cell basically this is saying set this specific cell to this specific uh, or specified value by changing this cell we're going to need all three options filled out properly let's take our first scenario Say I want to uh, make a $2,000 monthly principal and interest payment. Our set cell will be E18. Uh, and to value, we're going to set it to 2000 by changing a uh, specific cell, uh, the number of periods. So I'm going to click number of periods where it says 360. And I'm going to click OK. All right, uh, goal sick has come up with a solution. Uh, and let's uh, click OK uh, and check out the results and see if they make sense. So our, our previous payment was about $1,400 and now we've changed it to 3000 The original number of periods was 360 Now uh, we have 195.33 periods, or let's just say 195 for simplicity. This makes logical sense because if we increase the number, um, if we increase the amount that we're paying out, in principal and interest, uh, then we're going to pay off the, the amount we owe at a faster rate. So we're going to have to make payments over a shorter uh, time period. Uh, all right, let's consider our second and last scenario. Uh, suppose we can afford to make a payment of $3,000 per month. How expensive of a house can we afford? Select the Goal Seek tool again and fill in the following. Um, click on What If, Goal Seek. Uh, set cell, keep that to E18, to value, uh, 3000 by changing cell, um, the cell E5 or, or E6, our property cost, and then click OK. All right, Goal Seek has come up with a solution. Uh, as we can see, our monthly payment and annual payments have been adjusted accordingly, uh, but so has our property cost. The previous property cost was much lower, and now, um, we're being told that we can afford a home of $390,000. This makes sense. If we increase our principal and interest payment from $1,400 to $3,000 by changing the value of the property, uh, we'll be able to afford a more expensive house, a more uh, expensive property. And we're finally done. This brings us to the end of our tutorial in which we've covered the sum if and count if function functions, uh, groupings, and subtotals, and what if goal seek analysis. You can grab this Excel file off our website, uh, and I hope this will help you in your future projects. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you next time on our Ecology Designs production.